an example of maximizing minimizing in the case of four sets we are given that there are a total of 350 students this is the total students not necessarily the union as of now and we have the number of students who play cricket hockey football basketball 135 145 180 160 so the first sets four sets cricket hockey football basketball we also have a table which gives the number of students who play combination of two sports so for example 95 students here play hockey and football so we have every combination of two sports there are a total of uh, four sports out of four sports if i take two four c2 this is six combinations do we have six values yes we have six values so all the six values are given we are further given that 35 students play cricket hockey football that is three at a time cricket hockey basketball cricket football basketball and hockey football basketball again out of four if i choose a combination of three sports then the total ways are 4c3 that is 4c1 four ways and do we have four numbers 35 20 30 and 35 uh, the question is find the minimum and maximum of every possible intersection or union so what is not known to us is i don't know the union i just know the total and i don't know the number of students who play all four sports so a little unknown that is why we, it's not a deterministic case we'll have a range for every possible union intersection what can these possible union or intersection be the most obvious one is going to be find the minimum and maximum of those who play all four sports the next find the minimum maximum of those who play at least one sport at least one sport is the union or minimum or maximum of those who play none of these sports so these are the three very common ones then there are a whole lot of questions like this that can be minimum or maximum of those who play exactly one sport minimum maximum of those who play at least two sports or exactly two sports or at least three sports or exactly three sports then there could also be questions of minimum or maximum of those who play only cricket those who play only football and hockey those who play only cricket football and basketball right so there are a lot of uh, such questions that can be formed uh, we are going to solve it two ways one way is a very mechanical way we are going to draw the venn diagram and we are going to fill in the different regions there you don't have to use a lot of mind in that process you just need to do calculations and you and it appears very very easy we will then follow it up with an algebraic way which will appear tough then why are we doing it because the mechanical way does not give us insights into why there is a limit why there's a uh, minimum and the maximum range possible a limit possible the algebraic way tells us the logic of it the reason for it the and also the algebraic way is essential for me to develop a sound reasoning process or reasoning uh, the idea that we learn in the algebraic way can be used in some other setting as well and uh, while it seems to be tough the algebraic way also keep a note that everything that we are needed to calculate in the algebraic way while it seems long all those calculations are also involved in the uh, when we draw the Venn diagram the mechanical way right so let's get started and uh, I have captured the data here in short uh, and the uh, mechanical way is we immediately draw the Venn so the case of four Venns you must be aware of it I am not explaining that here so this is the set of cricket which is 135 this is the set of uh, ho hockey which is 145 this is the set of football which is 180 and the set of basketball which is 160 we cannot plot the other ones we cannot write it it will become too messy a uh, matter 
so how do we start we start from the innermost and the innermost here is this is the space where all four it's also in cricket hockey football basketball which is unknown which we do not know now we'll go outwards from the innermost so my first set of data is those who play three at uh, sports so cricket hockey football cricket hockey so the combination is one two three four and football also so football is this these two just two instead of four now it gets limited to these two so these two together is 35 if this is x so this is 35 minus x we know all these numbers are the overlapping uh, sets right so now we have separated them cricket hockey the same four but this time basketball basketball is the below two Cricket, hockey, basketball together should add up to 20. This is X. So this is 20 minus X. This is a mechanical way. Very fast. Cricket, football, cricket and football. Cricket, football. The combination has four regions. Okay. But I also want basketball. Basketball will be only in the lower part. These two. So cricket, football, basketball, these two should be 30. X is here. So this is 30 minus X. And hockey, football. Hockey, football, these four regions along with basketball, just these two regions should be 35. So this is 35 minus X. Straight, simple, right? See the symmetry also done with three uh, sports. Now we'll go to the two. Cricket and hockey. Cricket and hockey is these four. These four together should add up to 55. This is an unknown. So let's add these. <coughs> 35 and 20 is 55. So it already adds to 55. So numerically, there's not going to be any value here. Okay. But if I look at X currently minus X plus X will cancel out. There's a minus X because I want 55 without an X. I need to cancel that X. So I wouldn't be having a plus X. If you add these four, you'll find you'll get an exact 55. Next cricket and football. So cricket football these four so last time we had two two this time we have four these four should add up to 60 so currently the numbers add up to 65 65 i want a 60 so the numeric value here is a minus five students okay and what about the x currently the three x they add up to a minus x because I don't want an X, I'll do a plus X. So the X's will cancel out and you add this up, you'll get a 60. Cricket and basketball. Cricket, basketball. These four adding up to 60. These add up to 50 as of now. So that is going to be a 10 plus an X. The treatment in X remains the same. Hockey, football, hockey, football, four regions. Currently adding up to 70 should add up to 95. Oh, so that's a lot. 25 plus X. Okay. And hockey, basketball, hockey, this basketball, the below four adding up to 60. Currently they add up to 35, 55. So that's a five plus X. Football, basketball, football, basketball. This is this, these four. So these four are in a row now, right? So if I add them up currently, I have 30 and 35, that is 65 and it should only be 55. So this time I have a minus 10 plus X. And now we have done with the second row also. Now we go to the first row. That's why I said it's mechanical. We are not getting anything. We are just doing a lot of micro calculations. And therefore it is less taxing. You just need to do plus minus. Rest everything fits in into the picture image, right? So let me do that part and then look at the uh, questions. Cricket 135. Cricket is this full stuff. This full stuff should add up to 135. Let's see. The numbers 35 minus 5 is 30, 30, 60, 60 and 30, 90. Or oh, it's just 90. So the number here is 45. And let's look at X. Plus X minus X cancels. Plus X minus X cancels. Plus X minus X cancels. There's a plus X remaining. I don't want a plus X. I want exact 135. So there's a minus X. If you look out here now again as a pattern, 4 was plus X. 3 sports was minus x, 2 sports was plus x 
and one sport is again back to minus x okay if you know what i mean by one sport two sport this this is a person who plays uh, two two sports he plays cricket also and he plays football also okay so let's continue hockey uh, hockey 145 some 145 35 and 25 60 60 and this is a 40 100 120 i want 145 so that's a 25 and the x here again plus minus cancels plus minus cancels plus minus cancels the plus is there i have to cancel it with the minus x football 180 so let's add this okay there's a minus so this is a 30 30 and 30 60 60 60 and this is another 60 60 and 60 is 120 120 minus 10 that's 110 okay so that's a large number 70 minus x and lastly basketball 160 so that's 30 40 40 60 60 and 40 100 100 minus 10 is a 90 90 so this is also 70 minus x now what do you do here now all these numbers all of them will be since they are set all these numbers are going to be positive all these numbers have to be positive so wherever you have a minus x that is going to give me a maximum range the maximum so i'm looking at the minus x x cannot be more than 45 so that 45 is a higher limit x cannot be more than 25 so now 25 is a is a stricter limit because if it is 40 this region is going to be plus 5 but this region will become negative and in set nothing can be negative so i have x can only be 25 where else is a minus x x can be up till 35 x can be till 70 till 30 till 35 i need a minus x okay this x can be only till 20 x can be till 70 so what is the maximum limit for x x is this is what uh, uh, will result into the maximum limit so i will be having 20 minus x has to be positive so this basically boils down to x has to be less than equal to 20. so that is a maximum limit of x and how will i get the minimum limit of x look at where i have a plus x now plus x so x has to be positive right let let's take this where's a plus x this x has to be x can go up till minus 25 yeah even if x is a minus 25 this will be 25 minus 25 right but this tells minus 25 won't allow this is positive right keep continuing to a few more plus x plus x where else do we have this this says i can have till minus 10 okay but this doesn't allow minus 10 so till now right but then there are some places like this where the number with the x is negative so this tells me that x has to be more than 5 5 or more if this is less than 5 if it is a 4 minus 5 plus 4 will become a minus 1 so this is going to so i i want a plus x and with a negative number is there somewhere else like that here yeah. this tells me that x should be more than 10 if x is anything less than 10 this number is going to be negative at 10 what is it going to become 0 0 is allowed so 10 or more than 10 right so this if i want to write this minus 10 plus x has to be greater than equal to 0 so the 10 goes the other side you will have x is greater than equal to 10 this is a greater than equal to 10 so 10 becomes a least value so have we got so we have done it we have got all of it we have filled it we hardly needed to think anything we just needed to add subtract and that add subtract you have i hope you have seen every calculation that we have done we used each of these numbers and then we got the difference then we used each of these numbers got these difference right so let's answer so what if i want to find the minimum and the maximum of those who play all four sports 
all four sports. Well, this is exactly what we have found. X is all four sports. The minimum is 10, the maximum is 20. What if I want to find the minimum of those who play union? Union is nothing but at least one. At least one. At least one. The union. So I'll have to add all of this now. Okay, I'll have to add, sit and add all of this. Yes, you, we will have to do that, students. We don't have a choice. The best way to do is start with the largest set. This is 180. This all is 180. If you add them, you'll get 180. That is how it fits into the picture. Okay, so that's 180. Let's add the others. Let's start adding from the top. This is going to be 45, 70, 180 and 70 180 and 70 250 we'll handle the x separately 250 250 260 280 280 and a 70 350 355 so this union is going to become 355 and notice the x now here all the x have cancelled each other you want to check you check this will be 180 so minus plus will cancel this out minus plus will cancel this out minus plus will cancel this out we will be left with a minus x and this is that x which has a range because of which we can find the range for this now if x is minimum 10 i'm going to get the maximum value here 345 if x is maximum, I'm withdrawing, I'm subtracting, withdrawing a larger number. What will be left over will be a minimum number. So when I subtract the 20, I would be getting 335. And then the question is how many minimum, maximum people who play none? The none is nothing but the total number. The total number was 350. I forgot copying that here. Okay. And uh, minus the union. Union is at least one, so when we subtract, so 350 when I subtract a smaller number, 335 is a smaller number, gives me 15, which is going to be the maximum value. 345, I'm subtracting a larger number, so which will give me the minimum. So these are three standard questions, okay? Uh, but then the questions could be anything, students. The question could be, how about a, uh, exactly two? Now, exactly two sports. Now, exactly two sports, you just need to add them up. You should know where the exactly two sports are going to be there. Exactly two sports are going to be at the corners of that three by three square. Okay, one, two, three, four. And remember, exactly two out of four is six ones, right? So, and these, 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 these under the arcs, these co combination of arcs, these are. So, if I want to add them up, so let's add the numbers. Minus 5 and a 25, here there's no number. Minus 5 and a 25 is a 20. Okay, 20 and a minus 10. That's a 10, 20, 25. Numerically, we get mm, the number is 25 part. And let's look at what happens to x. Plus x, plus x, plus x. Plus x, plus x, plus x. Oh, so that is going to be a 6 plus x. Okay, I'm just, con I'll just confirm that number. I have a little doubt. So let me, when you're rechecking, you should check in a different order. 10 and 5, 15, 15 and this is 40, 40 and subtract a 15, that's a 25, right? So did we have a minimum maximum range of X and this time we are adding. So when I add 10, 10 is the least value. Okay, six tens are 60. So 85 is going to be the least value when I add 20, 120, 145 is going to be the maximum. This is for exactly. What if I have an at least two? In an at least two, you are going to not only have this exactly two, but you're going to add these three and four business also. Okay, so first let, let me first do at exactly three exactly three exactly three are one two three four so if i add that exactly three these four 35 35 70 70 and 30 100 120 so i'll be getting 120 this is a 25 120 minus 4x okay so this time again the x is in the minus side so if i want the if i take x to be less 10 40 
you are subtracting only 40 you are subtracting the least so whatever is the left will be the maximum one that is 80 and if you put in a higher value here 24 is 80 uh, 24 is 80 40 is left over which will be the minimum one right now at least three at least three at least three simply means these as well as that x so this is nothing but 120 minus 3x when you add that x this becomes minus 3x right so it's not a very difficult one in fact you have to just add a 60 out over here and 100 here if i'm not wrong 10 30 okay or 90 sorry how did that? add a add a 10 20 in this and add a 10 over here put x as 10 30 90 you get put x as 20 23 is a 60 you get 60 and how about the uh, at least 2 at least 2 is going to be nothing but exactly 2 plus at least 3 exactly 2 plus these at least 3 so i'm not doing that in fact if you add them if you add all these all these box and also the twos okay these two which is already added here so this plus this this plus x or this plus this it's the same thing okay so when you do that i'm sure you will be getting 145 and a plus 3x same logic so you got this also i'm not finding those numbers then what else did we have we could also have what is the minimum maximum of those who play only cricket only cricket only cricket is this part 45 minus x so if x is least 10 you are going to get a 35 which will be the maximum value if x is maximum 20 you are going to get 25 which is the minimum value could i have those who play only hockey and football yes only hockey and football it is exactly each individual region here is only okay so it becomes more easy hockey and football whereas hockey this is hockey whereas football this is football the common are these four areas but i want only i want outside cricket outside this so that is 25 plus x 25 plus x and x is 10 so uh, minimum will have 25 plus 10 35 maximum will be 25 plus 20 45 and similarly i could have uh, uh, a combination of three also also cricket basket uh, let's say football and basketball cricket football four and basketball as well basketball will be these two but i want exactly only so that is going to be 30 minus x and i'm sure you can manage the others right so doesn't uh, challenge us at all Let's take this example to learn the algebraic way. I repeat students, uh, you might want to quit at this moment, but then the algebraic one specifically, when we are going to imagine a parent and a child and learn that there is a parent, there is a child, the child itself acts as a parent and has more child, the next child acts as a parent as more child. This parent, child, child of child, child child of child is a very nice way and interesting i find it pretty cool yeah so i'll just start that in a moment <laughs> 